Monday, it's time for your Hollywood headlines. So let's check in with TMZ's Michael Babcock, live in LA. Good morning, Michael. How are you? Good morning, Amanda. I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you. It's good talking good. to you. Uh, so we'll start off with um, the, the, the latest on uh, Lisa Marie Presley, uh, the, you, the TMZ yeah. reporting uh, some news regarding the cause of death. Yeah, so uh, uh, Amanda, uh, obviously we know Lisa Marie Presley on Thursday went into cardiac arrest uh, in her uh, Southern California home. Uh, it was uh, about 1130 in the morning. So she was revived. Her ex, uh, Danny Keough, uh, started performing CPR, Amanda, and actually uh, with Danny's efforts and, and finally once the uh, paramedics arrived and uh, give her uh, a shot of epinephrine, uh, they actually got a pulse. Uh, they, they had her heart restarted and they transported her to the hospital. And there was at that point, there was a positive feeling that, hey, this this might have a positive impact. Unfortunately, she went into cardiac arrest again at the hospital. Her family had signed a do not resuscitate order. And because of that, uh, Lisa Marie Presley at 54 years old uh, passed away. Yes, yeah, that's, that's what I was just thinking. I mean, you're 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 telling us this news and I'm getting chills. And I think she was 54 years old, which is right. She's which way is young. Too young. You know? Way too young, right, for, uh, for for something like that. And I think it was shocking, Amanda, too, because people, you know, I know the ratings weren't that great this year for the award show, the Golden Globes, but she was at the Golden Globes. The the movie uh, Elvis had uh, done pretty well at the award show, and she was there. And a lot of people felt that she didn't look great, that she uh, appeared a little bit unsteady on her feet, and uh, perhaps that her, her speech was a little slurred. I don't know. It's hard to tell, but yeah. uh, she was she was there is the point, and we we just saw her, so I think she was very much top of mind. And then for her to be gone uh, two days later is yeah. uh, shocking. Right there, uh, yeah, right there, sitting on the table with her mother and Austin Butler, thanking the the Presley family. So I know right. that that moment sits sits in my mind. Um, okay, right. so we will transition on to Kim Kardashian. What is what is happening here with her? So you know, Kim Kardashian has for years now. She has uh, she has wanted to to help uh, you know uh, rectify, fix the criminal justice system as she uh, sees it uh, as broken. And she went to a, a prison, one of the roughest prisons in all of California, really all of the country, Pelican Bay. And uh, she uh, she visited with the inmates who were in solitary confinement and talked to them about uh, sort of what being alone for so many hours a day has done to them, uh, not just uh, physically, but but mostly mentally. So she had this conversation. Now, she wasn't alone. She was actually with Toby McGuire and this other uh, pretty powerful uh, executive producer from uh, from Hollywood is actually the executive producer of The Hangover. But a few years ago, we made a, a film on teenagers who were in prison there were cameras here uh, amanda so uh, presumably this is for some project that we are uh, you know in the future we'll learn about uh, but but kim kardashian despite everything that's gone on with kanye she's she's had a lot of stuff going on in her life she is obviously still cares very much about criminal justice reform yeah you can see it in in, in the work she's doing um and yeah where the press uh, about her uh, heads the headlines i should say uh, you know and then finally in in the last uh, minute we have left let's talk a little bit about britney spears yeah, so there was this uh, video that we posted over the weekend. Uh, Britney Spears went to a restaurant called Joey uh, Friday night with Sam Asghari and with a, a bodyguard. And uh, it, it went bad right from the start, Amanda. There were a lot of people in there who were taking pictures of Britney, and, and clearly she didn't like it, and it bothered her. Now, um, witnesses there said she began acting erratically, and manic is one of the words that they used to describe her behavior. On this video, it does sound like she is speaking and, and sort of speaking in, in gibberish, for lack mm. of a better term. Um, but now, look, but now Britney has come out and, and, and basically said, hey, I'm, I'm fine. Nothing's wrong. And, and so is Sam Asghari. So uh, they're, they're saying everything is OK. And uh, I, you know, I hope they're right. Yeah, no, so do I. Uh, we want her yeah. to be OK. Michael, thank you so much. It was thank always you, great talking to you. I know yeah, it was a little to heavy today, you. but good, good, good talking to you. It was great to see you, Amanda. I'll see you next week.